It's good. It seems to go with lobster, too. In yeah, there. for sure. Well, first up this morning, the West Virginia Humanities Council. We have the executive director, Dr. Eric Wagner, with us. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, thanks for being here. Can you tell us a little bit about the Humanities Council and what do you guys actually do? I would love to. The West Virginia Humanities Council is the official state affiliate of the National Endowment for the Humanities. Uh, that federal agency is our primary partner and with help from the NEH and a, a contribution from the state of West Virginia and of course all our members and donors around and beyond the state. Uh, our mission is to provide grants and uh, provide direct programs in the humanities, so everything from literature, history, local culture, living tradition. Uh, we try and fund or deliver educational programs in some aspect of the humanities all around West West Virginia every day of the year and I'm very happy to say in our 50th year our current uh, anniversary year we're on track to deliver 1.3 million dollars to West Virginia's cultural economy so we're small but mighty absolutely a and you got a <laughs> one one topic in particular you want to talk about tell us about the McCrite lecture the McCrite Lecture in the Humanities is, uh, we, we run a lot of programs around the state, as I say, the McCrite Lecture in the Humanities is our big annual public event. It's always held in Charleston, where our home offices are, and it's always, uh, we always host a, a national or an internationally renowned uh, professional in the humanities. Could be a scholar or a historian. This year, it's uh, author Percival Everett, uh, who has written a fantastic novel called James, which is a novel that is uh, kind of in conversation with a very classic American novel, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Uh, James is a novel written from the perspective of a character in Mark Twain's novel, uh, Jim, the enslaved adult who goes on to run with uh, Huckleberry Finn throughout Twain's novel. Uh, James is uh, really kind of a, not really a reimagining or a retelling of that story. It's a parallel story. It's a story told in the voice of the character of Jim, who is uh, Huck's companion throughout Twain's novel. And it's just a fascinating piece of work. It does sound interesting. Tell everyone at home, uh, when is the event? Where can they find more information? Um, if they would like to attend. The event is going to be held on Thursday, October 17. Uh, 730 is the uh, time of the event, and it's going to be held uh, in downtown Charleston. We wanted to make this a true downtown event. It's going to be held at the historic Capitol Theater on Summer Street, uh, and that's going to be right in the middle of uh, Festival and uh, Art Walk and a lot of other things going on around the city. So we're going to be right smack in the middle of it. That is kind of interesting to have a great setting to go with it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a, we wanted to make this a true downtown event. We um, it, we give programs and we give grants throughout the state, but McCrite, as I said, is always a real hometown do. Uh, and there's so much going on, and it, it's such a great um, event. It's such a great get for us to get Percival Everett, who's really kind of having a, a big cultural moment right now. We wanted to share it with as many people as possible uh, in and around the Metro Valley. Uh, his novel Erasure, which was written in 2001, was made into the film American Fiction, which was out last year. Uh, American Fiction won the Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay. And very exciting news, we found out since we had booked him that uh, no less than Steven Spielberg has optioned Percival Everett's novel James for production. Uh, not for Spielberg to direct, but he's going to produce the film adaptation of it. Well, and so big, explain big the James him, book and, and why it's important. Uh, well, Huckleberry Finn, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn is, to my mind, it really is one of the great American novels, and it says something that is still so true today about American culture and history and the tangled history of race and, and slavery and the formation of the American nation. And uh, James is a novel uh, that really digs into what's so unique about Huckleberry Finn. Percival Everett has been very vocal in his admiration of Mark Twain and his love for Twain's novel. And this book is a true, I, I think of it as a true act of honor and respect. If you're a, a fan of Mark Twain or if you know the adventures of Huckleberry Finn, you're really going to enjoy Percival Everett's novel. And it's a story that is told from the perspective of a character who is very central to Twain's novel, but of course Twain couldn't tell it in Jim's voice. It's, it's Huck's story. Uh, James is really the story of Jim told by that character and is a wonderful companion piece to that novel. I've, I've read it twice now and the first time I read it I finished it in a day. I was up until 2 a.m. finishing it. I, it. I truly couldn't put it down. It's a remarkable piece of work. Well it is interesting to hear all about this um, and Dr. Wagner we really appreciate you joining us to tell us all about this. Thank you very much. Happy to be here and, and thanks for having us. Good luck with it. Thank you sir.